Hi there, Martin here once again. Thank you for joining me. Um, I thought, um, following on from my last video that was um, not entirely about wood turning, but today, today's the 13th of July by the way, I thought today I would give you a little tour around um, my workshop and explain what's going to be going on uh, because I've got uh, 10 days, I think it is, to prepare a huge amount of stuff for the Netley Marsh um, Steam and Craft Show, which is running from the 24th to the 26th of July. Now, I said in my last video that I wasn't a production turner, um, but for the Netley Marsh Show, I'm going to have to become a bit of a production turner to produce enough stuff for a three-day show where they're expecting thousands and thousands of people. And obviously I don't want to be caught um, without, uh, without enough stock. So, give you, I'll start with a quick tour of um, the workshop um, and explain roughly what um, I'm going to do. So let's start here. Um, this is my small lathe, um, which I just turn pens on and perhaps the odd small spindle. Um, I'm not sure what uh, what make it is. Um, it was um, gifted to me by a very lovely lady in a village near where I live called Hollybourne. Um, so I've built just a little um, work area for it. Um, up here is where I stack all of the, um, the pen blanks when they've been drilled and glued with um, with the brass and um, with the brass innards and up here I've got a couple of racks where I keep all of the pen kits um, a few more of which will be arriving um, hopefully tomorrow so I can get turning some pens here's the bigger lathe um, it's um, an Axminster hobby series it's the largest one in their hobby series because that's uh, that's all my budget would allow at the time. Um, it's a good machine. Um, it doesn't quite do what I want it to do as well as I would like it to do. Um, yeah, there's um, an extraction unit or an, an extractor pipe um, fixed here. Um, up and around the outside, um, I've got my, um, I've got some more sealers and some finish shellac. Um, easy access on a for kitchen towel, some more abrasives, colours, paint brushes, drill chuck up the top, um, a couple of pen man drills, live centres, dead centres, um, bowl sander, 80 through to 400 grit um, sanding pads, very small tool rack as you can see, a um, couple of bowl gouges, roughing gouge, um, and up here I've got my coffee grinds that you've probably seen me using uh, in a couple of videos recently over here but also on the floor down here um, I've got a third a third extractor so I can just sweep up and it just goes straight into the um, extractor unit um, and they're each controlled by um, blast gates so whichever one I want to use I open that one and then close the other two then I get all the suction through through there so yeah that's that's this that's this machine um, lit by a fluorescent tube up the top here, um, and above I've put I've got some three mil ply with um, aluminium foil um, on it just to reflect as much light back down onto the work as possible. Now on this side of the workshop, opposite the main lathe, um, is my workbench, which believe it or not is tidy. Um, I've got a box of stuff that I need to get rid of here. Um, I've got a little box there with pens, pencils, compasses and squares in. Uh, underneath is an array of uh, mess, um, general confusion. Um, everything's kind of misplaced but I roughly know where everything is. I'm generally not the most tidy person um, on the planet but there we go. So I've got a microwave that I use for drying pen blanks. Now under here... Well, in the top drawer here, I have some pen blanks. I'm running a bit low at the moment, but there are more coming. Um, monkey puzzle. Eucalyptus. Uh, 
more eucalyptus. And there's holly in there, look. Plenty of holly. This is the holly, the holly, the eucalyptus and the monkey puzzle um, come from my garden. Um, and they're just um, branches of um, branches of some of the trees that we've got. Um, I've got some chunky uh, chunky walnut from a, a tree fairly locally. It's really lovely stuff that. Um, I'll have to do a video about it. It's really good. Um, spalted beach pen blanks in there. Loads of spalted beach pen blanks again. Uh, these come from a tree in the garden. Really, really lovely. They turn beautifully. Yeah, and then here, um, just by the table saw, um, there's some Indian bean. Um, oh, there's some more of that walnut from Rockley. But I need to cut that down again. Um, there's some oak. Um, a couple of other, couple of other bowl blanks. And there's yellow stem dogwood. It's in pretty good condition. Um, loads of yew as well. Got loads of um, yew from a tree um, at Hollybourne. And oh, knackered. Um, yeah, so I've got a lot of stuff around that I need to sift through in order to make enough um, bowls and pens and boxes and all sorts of stuff for this Netley Marsh, um, Netley Marsh show, which is at the end of next week. Um, I'm going to try and get an, um, an actual proper turning video out for you uh, later on this week, um, but I'll definitely be posting sort of little progress videos in their own little playlist about how I'm doing um, and I'll probably just record those off my phone and then just uh, upload them into the playlist um, so you can see what's going on and not worry about the fancy titles and stuff that I put on uh, put on normal videos like this one. Um, if you've stumbled across my channel please do subscribe um, if you are a regular subscriber Thank you very much indeed for sticking with me. I hope you find whoops. I hope you found this video um, interesting. A little tour around my uh, phone together workshop. If you're a new subscriber, thank you very much. Welcome. Yes. So that's it for today. I'll post again probably tomorrow with another um, much shorter video. But for now, I need to be turning some cedar of Lebanon pen blanks. Okay, thanks very much. I'll catch you soon. Bye for now.